robberies, shootings, and more. Seems nobody is immune to crime these days. Small towns that used to be quiet are not so quiet anymore. But you can play a role in fighting back. As WTVA's Chris Knowles shows us, one way is by keeping an eye out for those around you. Chris? Emily, I'm standing here at a community neighborhood park here in West Point. Crime is something no one wants in their neighborhoods, but it's something that's happening. And I want to share a few ways that you can help prevent or stop the crime from happening in your communities. Now, recently in Calhoun City, a woman walked outside her home and she realized that all of the wheels on her car was stolen. She says another neighbor went into their vehicle where they noticed that a burglar had scattered all of their belongings across the vehicle. Earlier today, I spoke with Lee County Sheriff Jim Johnson. He says a neighborhood watch has many benefits that could help curb crime in our neighborhoods. It's a good program because you that live in the neighborhood know your neighborhood better than anybody else. And so you know what's normal and what's abnormal. You know what to report, and what not to report. It's also kind of a checks and balances. You know, if you have it coordinated right, you can let an individual know, hey, we're not going to be at home or this is the only car that's going to be there. And then Neighborhood Watch, the National Neighborhood Watch, you can go online or if you coordinate one of the Neighborhood Watches, they've got some great tips of what to do when you're gone, making sure someone picks your mail up, uh, making sure that you leave a light on and maybe some noise or something another. Sheriff Johnson says if your neighborhood doesn't have an active neighborhood watch, you can start one. He says to call your local sheriff's office or police department to start one. And the other ways you can help in your neighborhood is by downloading and buying a ring camera or some type of doorbell camera. And those cameras have what's called a neighbor's app. So on your ring, this is what a ring looks like. There's an option for you to go to neighbors. And if you go to neighbors, there you can communicate with the neighbors all around your community and alert them if something is happening in a neighborhood which could potentially save a life or prevent something bad from happening in your neighborhood. I'm Chris Nall's live in West Point for WTVA 9 News. Back to you, Emily.